Happy Thanksgiving Eve, everyone. Um, as you may know, if you're looking at this channel, um, I've recently uploaded a couple of uh, racing sims, both created by a man named Thomas Mink. Now, Mr. Mink is from good old Indiana. He lives right on the Wabash, I guess. And he's a rather legendary character in both uh, board game and PC sports simulations. Uh, and maybe his most famous creation is Replay Basketball. Uh, there was a, that was originally a board game, and it then was translated into a, a, a really nice PC version. But this is his uh, real radically uh, redone version. It's called TMSG Classic Basketball. Then there's a, another version that has to do with more modern seasons. But this is uh, built more for uh, the classic NBA 50s, say, through the 90s. And it is excellent. But the problem is, uh, maybe you shouldn't be watching this video because it's not really available anymore. Uh, Mr. Mink, I think, retired from producing things. I think maybe it was right after COVID, maybe, or during COVID. And uh, he unfortunately took down his website. However, there is a Delphi forum for TMSG basketball. And you just ask Mr. Google and he'll tell you where to go for that. And he occasionally appears. So I just thought, you know, maybe if I um, uploaded this demonstration of his just fine, fine, fine game, Maybe he'll be convinced to, uh, you know, put his website back up. Let's hope so. Because what we're doing here is we're playing Game 7, uh, and we're jumping into the fourth quarter of Game 7, May 8th, 1970, at Madison Square Garden, between the Lakers and the Knicks. Of course, the 1970 Knicks, one of the most legendary teams of all time. But I think if the Lakers had a completely healthy Chamberlain, uh, they may have taken it that year. But let's see what happens here. I'm a Laker fan, so uh, you know where I'm coming. Well, let's look at the menu. Okay, that's restore game. So actually, let's just restore it. There it is. Okay, so the Lakers lead by six with nine minutes and 47 seconds left. And let's look at the top ribbon first. That's obvious stuff. Select teams. Roster size, you can set the historical date. Options is you would sound, one click play, no fatigue penalty, draw for rebounds. This all makes sense as we play it. No Guinea, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then the stats and reports and the help. Okay, now on the screen, of course, up top uh, are the Lakers starters, not starters, the Lakers uh, players who are in the game at the moment. There's their coach, both coaches. There's uh, the Knicks on the bottom. Now, what we're looking at here on top, a player in green needs to come in from top down. Now, this doesn't have auto substitution, uh, but it's really very friendly. If you, if you once you play it, you understand like when you should be bringing players in and taking them out. Same thing with the Knicks. Uh, white is uh, players that you know, you can bring them in or not. John Warren is injured in the second half, so he will be at uh, uh, less effectiveness. And here you have, of course, the, the really neat scoreboard. You have field percentage, rebounds, turnovers. Here's the box score. We'll get to that at the end. Okay, but what we do here, it's very, it's very, very user friendly, and it, it, it feels like basketball in a way that uh, I don't think any other PC uh, sim does. Although there are fine ones out there, hoops, of course, action PC, and PC replay. So, okay, Lakers have the ball. They have a six-point lead. It's nine minutes and 47 seconds left. And let's see if the Lakers can uh, reverse history. 
So we click on Lakers floor action, and what do we see? Okay, we see Jerry West. He's defended by Dick Barnett. And what we do, you see there's this little number here, 45. If it's 45 or under, it'll be a pass. If it's over, then Jerry West takes the shot. So we hit the draw uh, box. It's 74, so Jerry will shoot, and he has been incredible. Before we hit the shot, West at this point has 38 points. I'm sorry, 42 points. And he's 15 of 20 from the field. So that is the real Jerry West. So we hit draw. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we were going to hit a shot anyway. So you hit the shot button. Draw again. Good and a foul. Foul on Dick Barnett. Assist from Dick Garrett. West now has 44 points. The Lakers now lead by eight. Let's see if he hits the free throw. He does not. Who gets the rebound? The Lakers get the offensive rebound. Rick Roberson, his sixth board of the game. Roberson, hit draw again. It's under 99, so Baylor takes the shot. Baylor has not been having a good game. He had foul trouble for a while. He's only 5'11". He only has 11 points at this juncture. And we're going to hit the draw and see what happens. And he misses again. Rebound. Lakers again! That was Roberson again, number seven. Here's Roberson. He's going to keep it. Takes the shot. It's it! Wow! Huge contribution by Rick Roberson, who no one remembers. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Lakers' lead is now 10. Stallworth. He's fouled by Dick Garrett. Garrett's third, and of course, back then they shot every free throw, and they had three to make two and all that stuff, and no three-point shots. I think the rules now are, are definitely better when it comes to that stuff. Stallworth to the line for one shot. He's one for two from the line in the game, and this is like the only game we're playing, so his percentage is 500. But normally it's 72, so he makes the free throw. Lakers ball. Okay, Chamberlain takes the shot. He's fouled by Reed, his fifth. Hmm. Are we going to keep Willis Reed in? I guess not. There's nine minutes left. So let's have Chamberlain take the first shot. At the moment, he's 5 of 13 from the free throw line, and so he's basically in character. The first free throw is good. Okay, so now we're going to look. We're going to take Reed out. So we can't use him. So we're going to use the top five guys in green. DeBusher, Frazier, Barnett, Stallworth, Bowman. Okay, Bowman was a center. He goes in. DeBusher's a power forward. And who's left? Oh, Stallworth. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Stallworth, I guess, will be the small forward at this point. And we'll leave. Let's see. Frazier also has five fouls. I forgot. He can't come in. So Barnett comes in, and we can't use, so let's move Barnett. Oh, he's already at point guard. Okay, so we're going to bring in Don May at the shooting guard spot, and here's Chamberlain. Now, let's, actually, let's go look over at the Lakers. Uh, do we have the people we need in? Mel counts, <coughs> um, and he really doesn't, but hey, he has five fouls, <coughs> so he, we can't bring him in, or we could, but we're not going to. So the top five here is what we have in. Baylor, Chamberlain, West, Garrett, Roberson. There we go. Okay. Wolf second free throw. Missed it. Rebound. The Knicks. Nate Bowman. Okay. Knicks bring it up. Barnett takes the shot. Defended by Jerry West. He hits it. Fall back, baby. Does anybody remember that? Okay. <clears throat> Lakers ball. Sorry. I <clears throat> have a bit of a sore throat. Okay, Lakers have the ball. Chamberlain takes the shot against Nate Bowman, and he makes it. The lead is 10, 8.41 to play. Okay, Nate Bowman is fouled by Wilt. Wow, Wilt has three fouls. Of course, as we all know, he never fouled out, which is pretty suspicious to me. Anyway, Bowman, it's a nine-point game.
Floor action, Lakers. Jerry West gives it up. So here, you choose who he passes to. The best thing to do is to look at the number after the names. That's how many, sh um, excuse me. <clears throat> That's sort of a guide as to like who should be fed. The higher the number, the better. So we're going to have Jerry pass it to Elgin. Baylor shoots, misses again. Rebound, Knicks. Here they come. Dave DeBusher takes the shot. By the way, DeBusher has had a great game. He's got 25 points. Let's see, DeBusher has played 34 minutes, 11 of 22 from the field, 3 of 3 from the line, 17 boards, 8 offensive. So he is the man for the Knicks in this game. And he takes the shot. No good. Rebound. X. DeBusher is 18th. Off the offensive board, DeBusher again takes another shot, misses again. Lakers get it this time. Roberson is eighth board. Garrett has it. Stolen by DeBusher, his fourth steal. Here comes the Knicks on the break. Don May takes it all the way. Offensive foul, charging on Don May. Okay, you know what? The Knicks are down by nine with 7.53 to play. Let's bring everybody in. So Bradley, small forward, to Busher, he's where he should be. Reed, center. Frazier, of course, point guard. Barnett, shooting guard. And we're going to leave them in for the rest of the game unless they foul out. Again, Reed has five. Frazier, five for the Lakers. And let's see, do we have everybody? Uh, yeah, we're not going to bring in Mel Counts. We'll leave in Rick Roberson, who's been a beast on the boards. Lakers ball, nine-point game. Roberson. And it's deflected out of bounds. Lakers ball. Chamberlain takes the shot against who? We don't know. Okay. Good. Wilt with 24 Let's look at his line. 9 of 20 from the field, 6 of 15 from the line, 17 boards. Has not blocked a shot. Wow, only two, only five blocks in the whole game. And the Lakers, as you can see, have miffed, has missed. They've missed 15 free throws. And they're still up by 11. See, the 1970 Knicks are overrated. Anyway, here we go. Knicks action. To Busher. Takes the shot. He's the man in this game, but not that time. He misses it. Laker ball. Here they come. Chamberlain against Reed. Takes the shot. Misses it. Rebound. Knicks. Willis Reed is ninth. Here they come. Frazier against West. Frazier misses it. Lakers ball. Garrett takes the shot. Dick Garrett. No. Rebound. Reed, his 10th. Reed takes it and turns it over. Oh, my. That's not going to work. 11-point game. 6.35 to play. The Lakers can taste it. It'll be their first championship in Los Angeles. Roberson. Over to Garrett. Four shot by Dick Garrett. The 24-second uh, clock is running out for points. I mean, four ticks left. Garrett misses. Rebound. New York. DeBusher's 19th. Reed takes the shot. Good. Okay, the lead is still nine. Six minutes to play. Chamberlain. Stolen by DeBusher. His fifth. Frazier gives it to, okay, we'll pick the busher. He's got that four next to it, so here we go. Dave, again, 27 points for DeBusher. The lead is seven. The MSG crowd is getting nuts. West, stolen by Bill Bradley. Bradley all the way. Good, the lead is five. Timeout, Lakers. All right, they're going to bring in Mel Counts. I don't know why, but let's do it anyway. And everyone's set for the next five-point game, 5.15 to play. Okay, Counts against DeBusher. 
Mel takes the shot. Yes! X. Walt Frazier fouled by Jerry West. That's only his second. Frazier to the line for one. Missed it. Laker ball. That was a big miss. Well, it was only one point. So, Anyway, West. Jerry turns it over. His fourth turnover, but so what? He's got 44 points. Okay, seven-point game. Frazier gives it up. Let's see. We'll give it to Bradley. Bill, dollar bill hits it. Five-point game. Let's see. What's Bradley's stats here? Six of 17. Ooh, okay, but he has nine boards and 15 points. Okay, Laker ball. Baylor, yes, oh my, Bradley takes the shot, dollar bill hits, again it's five, Baylor, over to Chamberlain, Chamberlain shoots a forced shot, misses it, Lakers get it back, Baylor with the seventh board, Garrett, Turns it over. Again, five-point game. 3.51 to play. Nick's ball. Bradley takes the shot. No good. Rebound. Lakers. Chamberlain's 20th. Chamberlain shoots over Reed. Ow! Oh, and Reed is gone! Yeah, Mr. Stiff Leg Man is gone here. Good riddance. Okay, so we're going to have to bring in, let's see, Bradley. Okay, we're going to move the busher. Oh, wait, we have to shoot the first shot. He makes it. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Right, we got to get Reed out now. Okay. The busher at center. We're going to have, let's see, Bradley now at the power forward spot. Reardon. Small forward, and here's Chamberlain's shot. He makes it second. Makes them both! Wow! How about that, Wilt? Okay, 26 for Wilt. 3.30 to play, seven-point game. Nix, Frazier, shoots it. No. Lakers get it. Mel counts. Fifth rebound, big board. Garrett shoots. Misses. Rebound. Lakers get it back. Chamberlain is 21st. Rebound. Puts it up. Yes! Nine-point game. Three minutes to play. Bradley. No. Uh-oh. People in the garden are sitting back down. Bradley gets it. Turns it over. Nine-point game. Three minutes to play. Under three minutes to play. Boy, oh, boy. They're getting the champagne ready. Lakers look there like they're going to do it. Will Chamberlain against Mike Reardon. Blocked by Mike Reardon. Next rebound. Here they come. Can they do it? Bradley all the way. Misses. Rebound to the Lakers. Mel counts is sixth. West shoots at Jerry. Good and a foul. That'll do it. And Frazier is fouled out. Holy moly. Okay, who are we going to bring in? Cassie Russell. Okay, we're going to... Let's see. Okay, we'll move Barnett to the power forward spot. Reardon, shooting guard. Russell, small forward. Oh, boy. Now, this is it. This game is over, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry to the line. Got it. 12-point game. 2.34 to play. Lakers are going to be the champions. Reardon against... I guess that was against Garrett. Reardon shoots. Nice shot. Laker ball. Taylor. Let's give it to Jerry. West. Yes, Jerry West with 49 points. Okay, that goes to, who we're going to give it to? Give it to Dave DeBusher. It's it. DeBusher with 29. Boy, he really showed up tonight. 10-point game. Two minutes. Two to play. Two one. Thank you for that. Okay. Counts. Shoots. 
hits. Oh boy. All right. DeBusher will give it to, let's see, Barnett. Fall back, baby. Hits it. Chamberlain. Baylor takes it. No. Rebound, New York. Barnett does it again. 21 for Dick Barnett. Fifth assist for DeBusher. It's an eight-point game, but we're about out of time, Lakers. Shot. Missed. Rebound. Lakers get it back. Chamberlain's 22nd. Puts it up. Fouled. DeBusher's fourth. Chamberlain line. The magical three to make two. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Well, Chamberlain, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? Hold on. Chamberlain is 8 for 20 from the line. Boy, that stinks. Okay. Uh, rebound. Lakers get it back. West puts it up. No good. We want him to get 50, baby. They get it back. Baylor takes it. Good and a foul! I don't know why the Garden crowd is excited about that, because they're going down. He makes it. Okay, 11-point game. 56 seconds to play. Kazzy. Let's see. That would be... Yeah, that's a shot. Missed it. Knicks get it back. The busher shoots. Misses. Knicks. The busher is 23rd rebound. I know that's not outrageous back then, but hey. Mike Reardon. It's it. Reardon with nine points in this game, but it is too late. Garrett turns it over. Last touch by the Knicks. Lakers ball. Wow. Okay, this is definitely their night. Baylor. Elgin. No. That's a nice name, isn't it, Elgin? You don't really hear that anymore. Chamberlain on the floor. Deflected out of bounds. 23 seconds left. Everybody on the Laker bench is screaming and hugging each other and planning for that. Will Chamberlain hosted orgy at the Carlisle Hotel at midnight. Okay. Elgin Baylor forces a shot. Who cares? Misses it. Next ball. Here we come. This will be the last possession of the game, ladies and gentlemen. And Barnett is fouled by Jerry West. Of course, Barnett was a former Laker, or is a former Laker, since we're in 1970. He makes the shot, the first, second, and this is it. This is going to be the end of the game. Garrett. Let's see. Give it to Mel Counts. Why not? Mel at the buzzer. Missed it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your new NBA champions, the 1969-70 Los Angeles Lakers under head coach. Yes, there he is, Joe Mullaney. Rumor is he was a, he liked the bourbon, let me tell you. Okay, so save game stats, no, because we may be doing something else with this season, so we don't want to save the stats. But what we do want to do is look at the box score. All right, let's take a nice look here. The Lakers shot 48% from the field, all from two-point range, of course, since there was no other range. 26 of 44 from the line. So they won by seven after missing 18 free throws. The Knicks shot 45% from the field, 17 of 22 from the line. The rebounding, 75 to 59 L.A. That'll tell you. Assists, 23 out of possible 49. For New York, 28 out of 50. 19 person fouls called against the Lakers, 28 against the Knicks. 
Okay, Lakers had seven steals, 18 turnovers, two blocks, so they were minus nine in the ball handling categories. The Knicks, 11 steals, 14 turnovers, four blocks. They were plus one in the loss. Fast break points, Lakers way out on top. They doubled it, 32 to 16. Points off turnovers, 16 to 14 Knicks. Second chance points, 20 to 19 Knicks. Points in the paint, 72 to 46 L.A. Willis Reed did not have. Well, actually, he did. I guess he was in foul trouble. Uh, and let's see. Bench scoring, uh, 23 to 19 Knicks. And let's see. There was a technical foul against Red Holzman. And okay, let's look at the individual stats. Not all of them. Will Chamberlain and Jerry West played the entire game. Chamberlain, 10 out of 24, 8 out of 20 from the line, 23 boards. Eight offensive, five assists, five turnovers. But, of course, the player of the game for L.A., Jerry West. 18 out of 24 from the field. 13 of 19 from the line. Seven rebounds, eight assists, one steal, four turnovers, 49 points. And anything else here? Yeah, Dick Garrett was 0 for 7 from the field. And let's see, West had eight assists, steals, three steals for Chamberlain, five turnovers by Chamberlain. For the Knicks, absolutely Dave DeBusher, uh, totally player of the game, was 13 of 28 from the field, three of three from the line, 23 boards, 12 offensive, five assists, five steals, 29 points. Uh, Frazier definitely had a, a bad game. He fouled out. He was 5 of 14 from the field, thanks to the great defense played by Jerry West. Uh, Dick Barnett, fallback baby, 45 minutes, 10 out of 20 from the field. By the way, that fallback baby, look it up. 3 out of 3 from the line, 4 assists, 23 points. Let's see anything other interesting. Dollar Bill didn't have a good game, 7 out of 21. Mike Reardon had a pretty good game. Four out of six, nine points. Um, let's see. Free throws, rebounds. Bradley and Reed both had ten boards. And Palace, uh, five steals for DeBusher, too. So, man, what a what a game. Okay. So, we will wrap it up. And I hope everyone in the world has a very happy Thanksgiving. And... Uh, I don't know. I think I'll do maybe some more games of this. But again, I'm sorry I'm wetting the appetite for something that is really hard to find. But I suggest if you like what you see here, go to the uh, TMSG Basketball Forum at Delphi and just start nagging Mr. Mink. He... Uh, uh, he occasionally appears. I think he was there recently. Uh, he is going to do, I think, a 22-23 season. I don't know for the PC, so it might just be print. But, you know, this is an awesome game, and if you can get it, you know, uh, you'll, I think you'll see it's, uh, it's just ideal for you know, those who love historical basketball simulations. And I'll wrap it up here. Okay. Thank you for listening. And again, happy holidays.